All right, so we were here last time, and I guess we were just looking to get out of the caves. We've already met up with old man uh, Balthazar. So since we are right next to a save point, uh, one thing I wanted to do was uh, try try and fight some random encounters <coughs> as humans. So where is it? Here. How do we get off? Okay. It's already at the wall. Oh, there we go. Hello, Matt. How's it going, man? I'm just gonna try something completely suicidal. But that's because we're right next to a, next to a save point. So let's see, another thing uh, I want to try and figure out is how this death blow stuff works. So, Raijin has learned, Fei has almost learned Senretsu. I, I don't know if it just, if, if it just depends on uh, the number of different combinations we try or is it some specific combinations. Uh, Bart has learned Headhunter and I don't know... I don't know if more death blows need to be unlocked or how exactly does that work, but let's just try and focus one at a time. We need to get Senretsu up somehow, and uh, apparently the way to do that is by using different uh, combinations. So let's just try and get into an encounter. If we can as humans, I think we can. Did last time, didn't we? Also, the age old problem of which direction was I going in? Okay, it's the it's a robot. Let's just see if we can do any damage to the robot in the first place. Why can't you use a, um, a big attack? We still have three AP left. One hundred damage is not bad, you know. Jesus Christ! As humans, we were able to kill that robot. We still get experience and gold, so it's uh, there's no gear-specific stuff. <laughs> the massive robots, anyway. I mean, uh, it was just a repair robot, so we need to get into uh, some tougher encounters to find out. Uh, Exactly, if we can handle those, but uh, so far, yeah, I'm quite surprised. Alright, let's check the status of our death blows. Hey, listen. What's up, Al Tyson? Uh, Senretsu did not move forward. Is Maybe this is like limit break. Yeah! You're a massive robot. Maybe this is like limit breaks? And we need to use the previous limit break in order to unlock the next limit break. So let me do... Ah, oh, but the problem is... I don't exactly have... But then how the, how the hell did I unlock the first limit break anyway? Shit don't make sense. Anyway, since, since we've established that we are able to survive, might as well uh, try and carry on without a gear. And just try and figure out if we can somehow unlock... Uh, Oops! Oh, we just fell down. Okay, we just keep falling down? Or am I going the wrong way? I don't remember this though. Where's that area supposed to go? Can't really jump high. Maybe we need the robot to jump uh, higher. And is the random encounter rate a lot less on foot? Speak of the devil. 
Okay, this is also a tough guy. So let's try the three point attack. Zero damage. One damage. Okay, this guy obviously it's not working without a robot. So let's just call our max for uh, this fight. And we need to go all out against this guy. He takes quite a pounding, I remember. So I, I guess the only disadvantage of not being in your mech is uh, you need to waste one turn to actually call your mech. Which might become critical in certain fights but uh, right now I think we're completely fine. Another thing I don't understand is why pressing triangle twice invokes that Raikiki special attack which also takes a lot more fuel. Not just Raikiki, pretty much any special attack right now. Would you have an evasion bonus? I don't think so, but we haven't, haven't been uh, targeted on foot so far. Since we weren't able to do any damage to this guy, I was just uh, waiting for a better representative encounter to find out more about how the battle goes on when we are on foot. <coughs> what the hell? Senretsu learned. Is that just by level up? Because you also leveled up. <laughs> I don't know. And I should do something about those extra AR plus ones. I should I should probably equip... Uh, I've got quite a lot of those drops. I should probably equip them on my mechs. Extra armor never hurt anybody. Unless there's a weight penalty of course. Hello FF2. Uh, what does the old circuit do? Response and defense. Uh, I think we can probably sacrifice that. How many extra AR plus ones? We got 14 of them! Oh my god. Yeah, let's just equip everyone with uh, AR plus ones. Might as well. Okay. Uh, back on foot. This is another disadvantage. I want to be on foot every time I have to go into the menu. Unless there's a shortcut of some sort. But I don't think there is. I mean, uh, the menu is not uh, very painful. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. But fact of the matter is you need to go into the menu. Okay, now what? Am I just l completely lost without my mech? Because I don't think we can jump here. I need my mechs to jump out here, so might as well enter. How do we enter the damn mechs now? Hello? Oh, wait. Maybe that's from the menu as well. Okay. Can we do that even if we are far away from the mechs? Yeah, we, we needed the mechs to jump uh, these ledges. Uh, where? I don't, I don't see a pathway we can go somewhere. This is too high to jump. Oh no, it's not! This guy again! This guy's just a massive waste of fuel. So if I've been lucky that I haven't needed to uh, waste time trying to recover fuel. But even then, uh, I've just I've just 
be in getting to so many encounters simply because uh, I keep getting lost and I can't make sense of any direction here. But I prefer not to have these uh, relatively stronger encounters. At this point, it's just a waste of fuel. Didn't learn anything this time. Let's take a quick peek at our death blows again. So far, the only sense that it makes... Uh, Triangles are... Wait a minute. I think the number next to the combo is just... Uh, the number next to the combo is just how much it takes. How much AP it takes. Because triangle plus cross is 4 AP. Two, two triangles plus cross is indeed 5 AP. I thought initially what they meant was press triangle four times and then cross. So far, the only thing that I've been able to make sense is uh, that these guys are learning death blows on level up. But then I don't understand what that 78 next to Hoten is. Obviously, that shows some kind of progress, and that progress does not increase on level up. So, our next theory is we, we need to use death blows in order to, uh, in order to, uh, make progress on our next set of death blows. So let me memorize these guys' death blows. So Senretsu 5 AP is 2 triangle and a circle. And Headhunter from Bart is a uh, triangle circle. Okay, so it's basically the first limit break. Yeah, it's probably just limit breaks. <coughs> Let's get back on foot. No, wait. We need, we need to jump. Let me just figure out where we need to go. And then... Oh, what is this? Is this some kind of a switch? I think we already pressed that switch. What if I stand here? Nothing happens? Not really sure where to go. There doesn't seem to be any place to jump. Maybe here? Is this where I supposed to go? Or am I just back? No, this this is this is like a floor below where we were. Because I recognize this platform. I think that was where I had uh, triggered the power or something. Although I thought at that point the power was just to start the elevator. Maybe this is where I'm supposed to be. Let me just roam around for a bit. Uh, what's this? Let's, let's get on foot. Can we not set memory cursor? At least I'm becoming good at that menu. Uh, <clears throat> getting back on foot. So while we're on foot, we're going to be trying out some limit breaks. I'm just going to call them limit breaks. No, is this a dead end? Freaking hell. So there was nothing here. Let's try a limit break on that. Okay, there's another back. Alright. So this guy's limit break is triangle, triangle, circle, send red Oh my god! That is awesome! Oops! Fuck! Oh, I didn't want to do that! 50 damage! Oh boy! This mech does a lot of damage! Actually... When we were fighting against a repair mech, he never got a chance to attack us. Holy crap, we can't we can't be humans for too long. Let's try another Senretsu. Yeah, uh, this has a this, this makes me feel like uh, Zeld's duels. You had to press special combinations, although Zeld's duels were obviously more complicated. Maybe maybe as we keep going along uh they will get complicated. And let's see if we made some progress towards the next limit break. Cool! And unlike Final Fantasy VIII, it seems as if we can execute it literally every turn. Uh, Blonge, Christmas, <laughs> could be, could be. 
one guy kicked the answer. Right, right, right. Old man, uh, what was his name? Old man Guilin. No, Guilin is the name of the place, wasn't it? <laughs> but to be noted, uh, when the Fonzos, sorry, now why am I calling them Fonzos? When the mechs do get a chance to attack, they do a lot of damage to humans. Uh, where is our stats? Death blow. Nope, it's still 78. So, how do we make progress towards our next death blow? So far, the only thing that has made sense is leveling up. But if if leveling up is uh, what it takes, then why exactly do we have uh, Hoten? Why exactly do we have that progress indicator? Or maybe we're just supposed to unlock them. We don't get them from level up. We're just supposed to unlock them. Yeah, that makes sense too. But how the hell do I know what the hell Hoten is? And why is that 78? FM4, you're going to exit the monsters battle like you're going to FM3. Yeah, yep, yep. There's no concept of uh, pilot separated from the Fonzo. That, uh, apparently that was only a thing in uh, Front Mission 3. Okay, and obviously we managed to learn a limit break even, even when we were inside the mech. So I'm not sure how that works. Um, what is, is there something here? But this is where we came down from, wasn't it? Oops. Oh, we should be able to deal with these guys. Okay, how do we... You know what? Instead of just trying out various button combinations, I might as well look it up then. If uh, we just have to unlock it like that. Let me go for 3 and 2 points. 3 and 2 points don't seem to have unlocked anything. Or maybe... What? Oh, 185 damage. Uh, and I don't think I have a Phoenix down. We can one-shot them, but holy shit, they can one-shot us too! Did we unlock anything? No, we didn't unlock anything. Yeah, I mean, if I just have to accidentally uh, find or figure out a combination to unlock uh, a limit break, then I might as well look it up. So that's what I'm going to do off-stream. Right now, I'm just going to be spamming the limit breaks that we are... Oh cool, look at this! We get revived at 1 HP after battle. Interesting. Yeah, this, this game is really lenient. So, maybe no Phoenix Dawn or Phoenix Dawns can only be used in battles? Let's just get into our mechs now. I think enough experimentation. Pretty much uh, died once too. I was expecting to die on the very first fight. Uh, very surprising that uh, they actually managed to survive on foot. Just get back into our gear. The problem with gears is that we need to be <clears throat> very economical with the fuel. Okay, if I go here, am I just going back then? No? I don't seem to... I guess I don't really have to be economical with fuel. <coughs> Because I can always charge. In theory. Why isn't it dead? Who's charging? To be very careful of these guys when they're charging. But yeah, as long as we're on our in uh, in our mechs, this is all free experience. Now if I can only figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. This seems like a button. Oh, 
I was supposed to press that button? Or... It just takes it back up. So I think I'm, I'm going backwards, or am I? Going backwards. Uh, that was a save point. Uh, what about what if we press this button? Can it be pressed? From this side. Want to get on the gondola? Okay. I feel like we're going backwards here. No wait, I don't remember this. How how are our mechs gonna make 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 their way there? Get on your mechs, damn it! Can't. Interesting. What if we just move a bit? Now can we? Can't get on a max on this side. Makes sense. I mean, it's consistent. Away execution site main power generator. Currently, the main power is on. Turn off the power. Leave it alone. I did this, then I? Uh, power is on. Do I want it off? Probably not. Didn't expect that uh, I won't be able to find the exit after like half an hour. So I guess uh, it's just more of roaming around. Oh nice, they automatically get on their uh, mechs. So that's where we came from. Uh, that was a, what, what happens if we do switch off the power? Can we like not uh, ride the elevator? I probably should have tried that. Not gonna lie. I'm enjoying the fact that this feels like a puzzle to me. While at the same time, I'm not enjoying the fact that I feel like a complete idiot. Feel like uh, stuff is really obvious and I'm just missing the obvious. But hey, that's fine. I mean, power was turned off. Okay. Let's get back. And if my theory is correct, after turning off the power, they will not allow us to ride the elevator down. So this is kind of mandatory, and not only was it mandatory, it was trivial. The only reason we needed power was to power that escalator and not something sinister uh, further down below. No? Currently, the main power is off. So, yeah. As I figured, it was for the escalator. Now, whether the power is used for some other mechanism, uh, we won't find out. <coughs> but it's pretty obvious that the power is required uh, for that elevator particularly. So we literally can't make any progress without switching on the power. At least that's one uh, option out of the way. We don't have to die wondering. I don't think I don't think I've struggled to figure stuff out this much even in uh, Chrono Trigger. Chrono, Chrono Trigger has some really weird, uh, uh, what do you call them? <clears throat> like stuff that you can uh, interact with on the field. Alright, so where are we supposed to go? We are supposed to go from down below. Oh, where? Come on, give me a good camera angle. Oh, uh, what is this? Is this is this like a button? No, I'm just going through it. What is this? What is this thing? 
It's like some sort of a crane. Do you need to operate it as a human, perhaps? Let's try. Maybe we need its power for that, too. Come on. Get in there. Let's excavate some stuff. Nope. Doesn't look like something we can interact with. Alright. Yeah, I've gone pretty fast at that menu now. Okay, that's a dead end. Ah, they want to drop down. Fuck. Can you jump back up? Okay, screw that. We we're, were going down anyway. So let's try and go to the other side. We know what's on this side. But there was nothing on that other side either. How come I supposed to go? Ooh, wait. This was it? The exit was right here! I'm such an idiot. <coughs> could, have just, could have just gone out last time, you know? But hey, for the sake of science, we did some uh, experimentation. All's well that ends well. Let's get out of here. What? I remember we could two-shot these guys, so why are these guys a lot more sturdy right now? Fifty. Okay, okay, I guess it's just uh, the randomness of the damage. Oh, no you don't. Screwing around this place, I've got... Uh... Wait, was it a mandatory random encounter? Or you can get random encounters even on switches. That's scary. Anyway, maybe we need a power even for uh, this elevator. This elevator seriously reminds me of Front Mission 3. Alright, what's up? A jetpack mech! Extremely fat. Just flying around here without purpose? What? What was that? What was that to show? Just that it's flying around here, or we can just encounter it randomly? I I is that what it's supposed to imply? Come at me, bro! They wouldn't give us a super boss this early in the game, would they? Extremely fat mech. <clears throat> 17 damage, what the fuck? More importantly, how much damage is he gonna do? Calamity. One twenty ah, uh, pretty manageable. We need to unlock some uh, combo for this guy now. Consider how big the cave is. Maybe I'm just making it seem a lot bigger than it actually is. But yeah, we've got these uh, huge ass mechs. But that's all we were told, weren't we? There were uh, like, this, this is an excavation site for mechs after all. Repu Raigeki. What button do I have to press for Repu? 
It's showing me the joystick? Nice, 200 damage. Uh, we need some combo for you, bro. So what about this and this? Oops, wrong button. So the dis- Whoa, what's going on here? He's using a special attack! Which does- Ow! 500 damage! I can't heal my mechs! Yeah, uh, at the bottom of the screen is actually giving me hints to what combo we can use. Missed. <laughs> nice. Hadoken time. I wish we could do those kinds of com combos, but uh, so far the combos just seem to be based on uh, the four buttons on the right hand side. This is gonna hurt again. Alright, at least he's spreading out the damage. Yeah, so this combo is just triangle and square. Pretty simple. Hopefully, they'll get a lot more complicated. I like some execution element and battles too. I mean, initially, initially I was uh, very reticent about using Zell in Final Fantasy VIII. But I became really good at it. For the time being, these battles seem seem very monotonous. I didn't know how to heal my mechs. Or maybe this game is just that simple. We're supposed to focus on the story and uh, battles are just... something to distract you. battle to get over now. Oh, there we go. Finally. That was very re repetitive. Huh? What an idiot. Trying to scare us with all show and no power. That was a Snorlax. Efe? <laughs> anyway, looks like that's the exit. So we'll soon be adios to this old cavern. Oh no, he didn't. Use the phoenix down on himself. Bard's gonna die! Wait. What the? Oh, he's gonna turn into Super Saiyan now! Get out of the way, Bard! Kame! Kame! Oh! He's using some kind of uh, combo there. Darkness combo. Oh! And he dissolved him in acid or some stuff. Something like that. Ooh! What the hell did he just do? He's gonna say it just came out of nowhere. Hey! Huh? What do you mean, huh? What in blazes was that? Don't you know? 
No. I um I don't know. What kind of a moron is this guy? What is going on here? Yeah, probably something just uh popped out of his repressed memories. But he could have at least said that. That was incredible. You just blew that huge thing to pieces. Why didn't you use that? <laughs> Why didn't you use that technique a bit earlier? I know, right? Could have avoided uh, like a thousand points of damage. I don't know that technique. I have no idea how I even, how I even did it. Hmm. Oh well. I guess that doesn't matter. He's just gonna shrug it off. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. So, now that we've got rid of that nuisance, let's get out of here, eh, Faye? Are we finally out? I didn't even see the exit. He just kind of ambushed us, didn't he? Never mind, we're not out. Still more puzzles to go. Very obvious puzzles, I presume. Uh, t -t 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 where, where exactly did we come from? I don't even know now. And I wish we could, uh, like, you know, steal parts off that mech that we just destroyed. But then again, he just completely destroyed it. Probably whatever would have been salvaged would have been worth worthless. Are these treasure boxes by any chance? And can Max even pick up treasure boxes? Who knows? Perimeter seems to be like nowhere to go. So just climb onto this platform, I suppose. This feels like, yeah, this is going backwards. So where, how exactly, where is the exit? That's the eternal question I'm asking here. This is the exit. Hello? Seems to be a giant hole in the middle. Can't do anything about it. Can't fall in. Oh, this must be the exit. Oops. Why can't I jump on it? Uh, I'm supposed to figure out how to jump on it? Are we supposed to move these rocks? At least give me a hint, god damn it! No, maybe I'm not supposed to jump on them. Hmm, how do I jump on those things now? Like over here at least, there's like a platform in between for us to jump. But that's where we came from. Out there, it doesn't appear to be any anything we can use to jump on it. Come on! Nope, I don't think we can. Or if we can, then I'm stupid. I think it has already been established for the purposes of this game. I'm quite stupid. Uh, maybe from here? Oh, we're supposed to jump from here. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. And there's the exit. Wow, I never thought we'd end up here. Where are we? That, that's, what, that's what I asked. Where are we? You see the Twin Mountains way over there? Where? Oh wow, that's so far away. That's where Bledovic, the royal capital of Awe, and Fatima Castle are located. Fatima Castle, Bledovic is a royal capital of Awe. So even in uh, whatever era they're living, they follow mo monarchy. Currently, there's no king living there, though. Anyway, that's my old hometown. Hometown. I'd like to go ahead and settle our dispute, but... Considering how close we are to the capital of Awe, we'd probably get caught. Hey, stop looking so glum, chum. I guess I'll have to get you back to your... I'll have to get you back to your friend soon, or you'll die from fretting or something. Anyway, rendezvous point with the Jigdrazel. Oh, is that a Dragon Quest reference? 
rendezvous point or or is uh, Yggdrasil something from mythology? Probably is something from mythology. You want to know not every country taking the time to be at their king. <laughs> Uh, the rendezvous point with the uh, Trazel is right over there. There's only two games where I've encountered this Trazel thing, the term itself. That's Dragon Quest and this one. In Dragon Quest, of course, we have the Yggdrasil leaf. Don't worry, you'll be meeting your friends in no time at all. So who's the Yggdrasil in this one? Ancient tribe! Oh, okay, they just took us there automatically. And here is Satan. Fay, I was worried about you. Doc. Yggdrasil? Okay, so it's Norse mythology. Yggdrasil. Well, this cause cosmology. Immense and central sacred tree. Around it exists all this, including the nine worlds. I see, it is a sacred tree. Got it. Welcome to the Sand Cruiser Yggdrasil. Oh, Yggdrasil is a ship. Oh, it was their ship was called Yggdrasil. Welcome to the Sand Cruiser Yggdrasil. We apologize for that earlier incident. There's Bart, who is surprisingly still alive. And this guy's old guy's name is Mason. I'm sure everyone has already had the courtesy to in introduce themselves. But allow me to introduce the Sand Pirates' leader, Master Bartholomew. Was it a Bartholomew in Chrono Trigger? Probably not. I'm probably thinking of Balthazar only. By the way, may I ask, young master, did you apologize to Master Fay? What? Uh, yeah. I told him I was wrong, right? Uh, just telling someone you were wrong after the event isn't going to solve everything, young master. Or his first mate. I'm sorry I've delayed introducing myself. My name is Sigurd, the first mate of the Sand Cruiser. Well then, please let me know if you need anything. That's the situation, so now forgive me, will ya? Young master, stay out of mischief. Ouch, 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 don't pull my ears! Let's go and wait in our cabin until we arrive. It is well made and comfortable. What is wrong? You look down. No, oh, well... Something happened? No, nothing. I mean, you should really tell him about the event, man. After all, Satan is our in-house expert. Oh, we just got to roam around? Cool! And we get Satan now with us? Yes, we do! Does he have a mech, though? No, he doesn't have a mech. Okay. Obviously, he doesn't have a mech. Uh, ship must be pretty... Pretty large ass. It's got a pretty nice team, I must admit. Hello. This is the gear shop. Look inside if you want to tune up tune up your gear. Oh cool! We already got a gear shop. But what about a human shop? Are we never expected to fight as humans? Or maybe we we're expected to fight on foot only for uh, death blows and stuff. Because so far, there's an emphasis put on gears, which, I mean, obviously, the game name of the game. Hey, did you see this month's edition of Gear Fan Magazine? They say hovering is all the rage right now. Until a while back, it used to be special equipment that only the young master had equipped on his gear. I mean, you wouldn't require hover legs for sand, wouldn't you? That gear with the slender build, which should... Brigandier's Rod? At what kind of armor do they use to cover it? What is he talking about? Is he talking about a Veltor? I think Brigandier is uh, Bart's 
Meg's name. Mitre admired your dive technique. I hear your zoom technique is flawless. Do you think you can train me in on my next watch? Uh, I have no idea what they're talking about. But let's check out the shop. What do you want to do with the gear? Can we buy parts? Oh shit! We can buy. Wow, this shit is expensive. I thought I thought I was rich at twelve thousand bucks. I'm obviously not supposed to buy a lot of this, but what are what what are the options here? Increases response, increases defense, agility in desert, magnetic coat increases response. What's the difference between the magnetic coat and the resp circuit? Probably the amount of response it increases. I don't know what response it does to begin with. Lens cover prevents camera damage, so that's that would be like uh, prevents accuracy, immunity against accuracy. Engine guard protects gears engine. How does that work? Tank guard stop fuel leaks and drainage. Oh, I see. These must be all the status ailments that we can encounter. So maybe maybe someone can uh, damage our engine. That would be like stun. Fuel leak would be like uh, what is that? Poison? No, it would be like. Is there is there a status that co constantly absorbs your MP? I don't think there's one in Final Fantasy, but it, it would be like that. Fuel leak, and drainage would obviously be poison damage. AR repairer, loss of armor defense, motion guard, slow status. There is literally a slow status. So these are just status protection stuff. Way too expensive. I'm not gonna buy any of these. Weapons. Iron G Whip. Snapper G Whip. I couldn't miss this though. <coughs> Provided I get Bart again. Snapper G Whip for Bart is 2000 bucks. Can I? Why can't I buy it? Do I need him in the party to actually buy it for him? Looks like it. Wow, well, that's that sucks. Whatever. <clears throat> Tune up. Yo. Uh, no, don't restore fuel right now. Engine. Z9 1500. Nine output 1500 fuel. Uh, what do we have right now? Does the engine give us HP too? Change equipment, yeah. Uh, we didn't get HP, but we got a lot more uh, fuel. Okay. What about frame? I think frame is what gives us HP. Well, told you, 3000 HP. Yes, please. And this is not definitely not ex as expensive as those status protection items. Got frame. Morale 90. Got armor. Is that all? Cool. So now Beltol is uh, even more buffed up. Probably need it. <laughs> and I've healed him up. Wait! We can set up his mech too! But then why didn't they allow us to buy weapons? Ah, so per mech we need to buy. Now we can buy weapons for him. Yeah, now, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Wait, what? I still can't buy! Why can't I buy? I can set up his mech though. A better engine. Got plenty of money. And since uh, we don't plan to be fighting too much on foot, might as well just uh, spend, splurge all of our money on mechs. Don't have a new frame for him. What about armor? We do have better armor for him. Wonder where we're gonna get an armor upgrade for Brigandier. Alright, so both our mechs are completely healed up. Let's check out the rest of the place. Can we read the newspaper?
Looks like we can't fall off the edges here. Hello. This door leads to the hall. Which door? I don't see any door. Do you see a door? I don't see any door at all. There was a fucking door there? What? Why am I here? Can't we put that behind us? It's not like I'm being made to stand here as punishment for not obeying lights out or anything like that, is it? Beyond this door is the gear hangar. The gear shop is located in the gear hangar too. Now be careful. The gears are so big that you'll look very small and you might get lost. Huh, okay, at least at least <clears throat> there was a guy telling me that there, there was a door behind him. Because it just blended. Oh, we're supposed to change camera angles, are we? I see, I should have changed camera angles. No wonder I didn't see anything from this angle. Idiot. Need, still need to get used to it. Still need to get used to it. So anything else? Any other doors leading out? Hangar is pretty large. Oh wow. There is a door out here. Check it out. No? Can't enter? Okay, can't enter that. Maybe it leads outside? Who knows? No, they wouldn't have such puny doors leading outside, would they? There is space for two more mechs. So where we should be... There's space for three more mechs. Four? Oh shit, this hangar is huge! I wonder how many party members... Fuck party members, how many mechs are we gonna get? Button? No? Can't push the button? Well, looks like there's not much to do in the hangar except for visiting the gear shop, which we've, which we've already done. So let's just explore the rest of the place. There's a door here too. Why can't I go through this door? Shit makes no sense. Well, in a way, it makes it simpler for us that they are... Uh, what do you call it? Pigeon holding us? <coughs> Here there are a bunch of doors. And this guy had nothing useful to say. Oh, what's this place? This is a vending machine? Nope. Hello, who are you? This is where we rest. Do you want to rest too? Sure. It's a little messy, so bear with it. Free rest, right? Not for our mechs, though. Actually, now that I think about it, why didn't why weren't my mechs fully restored? It's supposed to be a freaking hangar. All right, this is a free in. Uh, what do you guys have to say? My daughter is waiting for me at the base. It's been so long since I've seen her, so we're going to spend a lot of time together. Awesome. Hey, how did you get up there? Oh. Oh, these are bunk beds. Nice. Will you talk to us? I guess there are many things in the world I've never seen. I'll probably discover them if I try hard enough on my own. Her, 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 her! What? Maybe he's just dreaming. Why are you laughing? Who knows? Pirates and all? We're almost at the base. Phew. Finally we can rest. Literally doing that right here. But I get your point. Uh, free shit? No. No free shit. Except for the free rest. What's down here? Does this lead back to the hall? It leads somewhere else. Seems to lead somewhere else. No, it just led back to the hall. Let's check out this room. It's 
Sounds like someone's uh, cabin? Nobody seems to be here though. Why is there a plush doll? It's filled with buttons on his computer. God damn it, if, if this is gonna be a completely useless room, at least have some treasure. At least have the decency to have some treasure in it. Why would you waste artistic talent and programming hours to make a room which is completely useless? What? Why am I here? Well, never mind that. It's not like I'm hiding the fact that I broke the wall or anything. Oh, and by the way, you can go through this door to the gun room or go down the stairs to the engine room. So there's the engine room. This is the gun room. What, what, what exactly is the gun room? So I'm going here. Neither of those rooms. There's another useless room. Is there someone in it? How do you do? I'm the nurse from the Geek Drazzle. I'll do the best I can, so come by sometime. <laughs> My first impression was excellent. Well, who do you want to weigh? What? Okay, let's check out phase weight. Good, perfect weight. What do you mean perfect weight? Oh my god, weight is a mechanic in this game? But what could it possibly be used for? Satan is also good, perfect weight. Question mark, who's question mark? Oh please, no one's there. <laughs> what? Okay. I wonder what that is about. Is this wound from the battle, you ask? No, I fell off the bed next door. So pathetic. You're too thick. Hey, I'm perfect weight. Yeah, this dude fell off the bed. Interesting. And I doubt the game is going to tell me... Uh, what that mechanic is used for. So, wait. So, I'm just gonna have to figure this out. Hello, uh, who are you? Almost said, oh, this is the inn. Okay. So, looks like the ship is not that big after all. It's just the hangar room was absolutely massive. Now, let's go check out the gun room next. I wonder if we get to buy stuff for our humans. Save point? Cool. Maybe there's a cutscene just around the corner? Nice styles here. Uh, is this like the dining hall? Or just the library? Here's an old man. I hope you're not too taken aback. Lately there are far too many barba- I mean, highly energetic lads around the young master. <laughs> so yours truly, who is in charge of education, demanded to have this room created but because of that I ended up having to take a side job how may I be of service items weapons accessories nothing Ooh, so we get do get to buy stuff for humans uh, items we can buy aquasol aquasol s no source of zeta soul fizzy soul ment soul white star what is that wind up earth down Brown star, red star, blue star, elemental stuff, increases defense, s increases speed. So HP is with a full survival tent. Okay, so consumables. Didn't mean to do that. And uh, what about uh, what about weapons and stuff? Oh, we can outfit all three of our characters. Once again, this guy only has accessories. Power ring, stamina ring, speed ring, guardian ring. Increases defense. 
Very expensive stuff to increase defense. They call this equipment for some reason. I mean, normally I would expect a hat, uh, gloves, mail armor and stuff. But it just reinforces the point that uh, humans are probably not important. Alright, so this was just a library. Very big room, but uh, not a lot of content here. Wait, why did you call it the gun room? What, why am I here? Well, never mind that, blah blah blah, okay. And by the way, you can go through this door to the gun room or go down the stairs to the engine room. Why did you call it the gun room? That just looked like the library. What do you have to say? Grow bigger! Grow! <laughs> What's he trying to do? Oh, he's yeah, talking to the tree. This tree was planted when the young master was born. It grew along with the young master. With it, our hopes and dreams grew to fruition too. Anyhow, the door next to you, you is the elevator. Use the switch inside to go up or down. I'm getting some kind of resistance from this game. I literally would have been stuck in the hangar if not for that one guy who said there's a door behind me. Alright, we are down one floor here. There's a ladder and there's a door with a strange symbol. Or maybe that, that was on all the doors. Another save point! Maybe there's a cutscene here. Uh, let me just get out. And let me explore that uh, other... I assume the ladder would just take us right back up. Do not open hatch while in motion. So good. Oh, this is the hatch. Got it. So we're at the top floor of uh, the sand cruiser. I guess we got uh, nothing else to do than... Just talk to the people in the engine room. This does look like the engine room. I don't know what they were talking about, uh, the gun room and stuff. I didn't see no gun room. Alright. The ship uses innumerable effect wings to polarize sand and wade through it. If our balance is lost, we roll over in the desert. It's all up to our skill. Okay, fair enough. Please don't tell me this is going to be a mini game at some point where I have to wade through sand. <coughs> it's dry in the desert, so gunpowder burns steadily and easy to predict. It'd be great if the temperature would stay the same day and night. Who's this? It's a dolphin? What is going on here? What is a dolphin doing operating machinery? Rants. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that you were there. Wanna hear some hot, hot sounds that I recorded? Okay. The France Collection number 70. Wanna hear some more? Yeah, this is cool. France collection number three. I don't even know what he played. Ah, uh, well, that's too bad. Can somebody please tell me what what is it, what a dolphin is doing here? I had a competition going on with the young master the other day to see who could tip the boat further. Old Mason literally was white as a sheet, saying all the teacups were destroyed. This guy's playing video games? It's a lot harder to control the ship after the young master steered it. He's so reckless. While under the sand, there is nothing but static. As a matter of fact, there is nothing to do either. Do you want to see the ship's chart? Okay. 
Dazzle Yggdrasil Where are we going after Yggdrasil? No, no, Yggdrasil is the name of the ship. Why do I keep getting confused? Oh, I can move the arrow. Uh, Satan's house, Dazzle, Yggdrasil. Those are the only three locations available to us right now. Okay. I don't know if that guy's supposed to be useful somehow. Oh, there's a chief navigator's banana boat. Look at the map. The desert may seem to be flat and boring, but it's actually quite complicated. It's even worse when you dive underground. Unexpected boulders and underground waterways. You can't take your eyes off that map for a second. Wait, hang on, hang on. Was I supposed to see something else in that map? Is this some sort of a desert map? I don't see why we can't take our eyes off this stupid map. Doesn't seem to be a real time map. Whatever. I don't see anything in this map. Let's go talk to these guys. What's up guys? We're almost at my hideout. We're almost at the hideout. We'll probably stop there for a while for supplies and repairs. Oops, I forgot to save. No wait, I don't think I forgot to save. Why are they so fast now? I guess they are close enough to their hideout. They don't, uh, they don't expect anyone to be watching here. Well... Oh, I see. This must be the dry dock. Wait, why would we call it the dry dock for a sand cruiser? Whatever. I think the technical name still uh, gets a message across. We'll just call this a dry dock. My god, do you have to show the whole thing? Elements for repairs and construction? Well, yeah, but you call it a dry dock because the submarine is usually underwater. Wet dock is only for parking. Oh wait, there's actually something called a wet dock? Generally, you use the term dry dock for a submarine that is usually underwater, isn't it? But uh, there's no water involved here. Hey, who are the chicks? Wet dog and dog is the same thing. Oh, okay, right, right, you're right. <laughs> Welcome back, Bart. Maybe these are his sisters. Welcome back! Bart, what did you bring us? Well, I've got a new model gear and two people that we helped out. Eh? A gear? How boring. Don't you have anything more interesting? I thought you'd say that. Look, this is amber I found in a stalactite cavern under the desert. It's rare to find one with a bug in it. Like in garage and driveway. Wow. Wow, thanks Bart. We got we got some amber. What's that? Let's go, we gotta show it off to everyone. Okay, those are just kids. Well then, I'm gonna tune up my gear a little. Already done it for you. 
Why don't you go have some tea with old Mason? Thanks, old Mason. Please, walk this way. How exactly are you guys powering this entire setup? I assume uh, in the middle of nowhere, power and water and fuel might be issues obtaining those. This is the residential section. Probably gonna get another free in. Walk this way. Oh, I'm supposed to walk with them. Might as well. Talk to me. This is the dining hall. I'm sorry, it is so gosh. What? I'm sorry, it is so gosh. I have never heard that. Uh, well, I've, I've heard it, but only in a French connotation. I've never heard it in this context before. Oh man, dining hall is pretty big. How many people are living here? Please take a seat. Not a lot of seats though. I guess most people just eat standing up or something. Got a flask right in front of us. Perhaps you would like some more famous tea? Mustafa? Good doctor? Yeah. This guy's, this guy's like Iro from uh, Avatar. Some jasmine tea, please. How are the cups just floating? Young visitors are rare indeed. The young master must be very happy. Daniel's supposed to crew three to five times its capacity. They have a, not a lot of chairs. Why won't they have chairs? Or whatever blocks to sit on. They do look like blocks only. As far as tables, it uh, seems to be plenty of space. <clears throat> If things were normal, we wouldn't be living in the desert, but rather back in the royal royal palace. Oh shit! So this guy's royalty, huh? Uh, that just could be a gameplay thing. Could be. Royal palace? You mean that young one is connected to the old Fatima dynasty? Pardon? Maybe he spoke too much? N no. I'm just a senile old fool who talks too much. Yeah, looks like he spoke too much. Thanks to the my schools had double lunch sh shifts. Okay. So they would have uh, lunch at like different times for different classes. Just so that the, the cafeteria won't be overwhelmed. Something like that. Makes sense. Pay no attention to what I just said. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But that one-eyed youth does have a certain bearing. Oh, he's talking about uh, Sigurd. Oh, oh, oh. Well spoken, sir. Awfully good of you to notice. If I may, I would like to tell you. The young gent is the last forgotten remind reminder of the once proud Fatima dynasty. That is, before it was destroyed by Shakan's minions. Prince Bartholomew of Fatima. Bartholomew? Edward the fourth successor? I'm sure they announced Bartholomew died of an illness 12 years ago. Officially, yes. However, in reality, we rescued the young prince from Shakan's evil grasp. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, looks like today is just gonna be cutscene. Then again, first half an hour was me just wondering about. Then why must the prince, the rightful heir, resort to piracy? Uh. Since Fleeg here, we have only had one wish. That the young master would grow up to be a great man. Instead, he's completely useless because you guys have spoiled him! Not to reclaim the throne? That is correct. Of course, to say we have absolutely no desire to restore his rule would be a lie. We have plans for that as well. And part of those plans would include piracy? Well, yes, but there is a reason for that. Both Awe and Kislev are devoted to excavating the ruins. Each country's strength is increasing daily. Even if we get the help of all of our comrades to start a revolution, the combined strength of all of us will still not be enough. We would certainly be suppressed by Shakan's guards in no time at all. We needed power. We tried excavating the ruins outside the Yggdrasil, but it didn't work as well as, it, as we expected. Wait, what is the Yggdrasil now? Sometimes they refer to it as a place, sometimes they refer to it as the name of the ship. I think it's the name of the place, their hideout or something. Uh, we try to excavate the ruins using... Oh, using the Yggdrasil! God damn it, I read it wrong. Never mind me, never mind me. Yggdrasil is the name of the ship. Using the Yggdrasil, but it didn't work as well as we expected. You guys suck! Excavating requires tremendous amounts of time, labor and capital. The best we can do with our sand cruiser is find small items in the sand. And the piracy? Oh, long ass cutscenes in this game. Regardless of who gains the ruins as technology, one thing is certain. Both Kislev and Nave will simply use that power to oppress the other. I agreed with the young master's idea of creating a new power to balance things out a little. I see. It is far more effective to plunder from the shadows than to excavate the technology oneself. Of course, pillaging is an unpardonable act. However, for Awe, for Ignis to continue like this... I'm sorry if it sounds rather self-righteous. Exactly, that's... Damn, headphone just fell off. That is something which outsiders like ourselves cannot comment upon. Yeah, what I was gonna say is that it's a very slippery slope. From what you have told me, I feel that the result of what you're doing will be good. <laughs> Seeing your children here tells me that. I'm much relieved by your words. Another cup of tea? Is he drugging us? Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> it feels like the cups are just floating towards them, but I guess we're supposed to uh, interpret that as him actually drinking his tea. You mentioned you had plans. Why have you not put them into action? With Miss Margie imprisoned, we dare not do anything. Who's Miss Margie? She would not happen to be Nissan's. You are well informed, my dear doctor. She is the great mother Marguerite of Nissan and the young master's cousin as well. Why would Chakan take her captive? For the Fatima Jasper. I'm expected to remember this shit. What am I, Jasper, that is said to show where great treasure is? Aye, good doctor. You do know an awful lot. I'm most impressed. 
<laughs> you do not like my tea, Master Fay? No, um, I'm just not thirsty, thirsty now. Well, we have no idea what the great treasure actually is. But it is said to be strong enough to save our kingdoms if it is ever in flight. <coughs> and Marguerite has a jasper that tells the location. Only half of it, to be precise. The young master and Miss Marguerite each have half. Only by combining the two halves will anyone know where the treasure is. What exactly is the Fatima Jasper? When you say half of the Jasper, I imagine some kind of necklace. Only the heirs to Awe and Nissan know what it really looks like. I see. So that is why they have a locked up. My guess is that when they do find out, her chances of living are not... Ah, I apologize. I simply, I mean... I was only supposing the worst case. So please do not take it to heart. Oh, that is a terribly realistic scenario. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what exactly do you mean by great treasure? Well, I am at the foggiest. The gear! He means the gear! It has to be it! What gear? Well tall. Could be, could be. He was he was talking about some god gear, wasn't he? Yo master, are the gears alright? Yeah. Even though they were sealed, fans got into the joints. I just healed them up! It's a pain in the next neck to fix, so I'm having the crew take care of it now. Good. My job is just to pilot them anyway. <laughs> Lazy ass. Besides, I'm bad with machines, so I just get in the way. Young master. Here, have some tea. Anyway, what were we talking about? Whether the great treasure could be a uh, gear? Oh yeah! You know, something like that something like that is drawn in one of the Awe picture scrolls. Picture scrolls? Well, if you're interested, then let's go to the planning room. I'll show you what I mean, since you're my special guests. That sounds interesting. Now where's this planning room? Oh god damn it. I seriously doubt I'm gonna make any progress today, but hey. Like I said, probably never gonna talk to everyone uh, after my first playthrough, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Hey newcomer! Where are you from? Lahan? Don't know it. Hey, I was a Kislev soldier. I didn't like the way did they, they, they did things in the army, so they kicked me out. Then young master's got lots of power and ambition, just like me. This guy was once an army soldier. You just can't predict destiny, can ya? We used to fight each other, but now we're pals, sharing a meal together. How about that, eh? Speaking of food, I'm hungry. That's all you gotta say. Maybe Awe people just don't talk much. Hey Granny! Well now, aren't you Faye? Bart dear said he made a big strong friend. Uh, be friends with Bart. He's such a sweet child. Ah uh, sure. I know. I'm counting on you Faye dear. Hey give me some item! I don't want to be friends with that guy. Well, he's the only one with the mech. Hello, can we not talk to you? Oh, you're all the way down below here. Me? I'm waiting for my dad to get back. But I'm not gonna cry. Pretty good, huh? That's really good. Oops. Parent? Daddy! Wow. She ran to him at record speed. <coughs> Welcome home, Daddy. I was part of the crew in uh, in the Yggdrasil. There, there. Have you been a good girl by obeying this nice lady? Yes. 
I was good, so... Where are my presents? Presents? Look, here's a pirate dress-up kit. Wow, thanks, Dad! <laughs> I don't think he's setting a good example for her. But oh well, what could you possibly do in cases like this? Nobody's giving me any free stuff, though. Oops, I'm so embarrassed. But this is how I'm with children. It's been a long time since we last had fun. Let's play in the sand. Dad, this is the desert. <laughs> you got a lot funnier since I saw you last. Well, see ya. Cool. Uh, is this a shop? You look tired. Maybe shopping will perk you up. Even though they're past friends, I have to charge them. Oh, no, you don't. Items, accessories, gear pawns. Okay, one more shop here. What could this possibly sell? Akosol, Akosol. Did we, didn't we, didn't that guy already sell, sell all this stuff? Or are these cheap? No, they're not cheap. I don't know why we have two, it two item shops here, but uh, whatever. If you want anything, just let me know. Uh, accessories. Same old accessories? Power ring, stamina ring, speed ring. Got same accessories as well. Probably the same gear parts as well. Not sure why they have a uh, couple item shops like this, but uh, who knows. Gear parts, they'll probably have AR plus one. Oh no, we can set up our gears here. Buy parts. Rest of the same parts. Can we buy that guy a new weapon here? I don't know. I don't understand why we can't buy him a new weapon. And now that other weapon is not even available to me. I, why can't I buy it? Is it like weaker than what we have right now? I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, this woman will turn out to be useless. Hello. Do you know why such a small child is here? He's a war orphan. He was found crying in the desert. They brought her here in the Drazzle. We must stop the fighting from making any more orphans like her. Mr. Fay, please relax. Okay. I think we've talked to everyone here. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's go back and they did say meet them in the planning room or something. I have no idea where the planning room is. Where the hell is this? Ooh, do I spot some... Probably should just stop looking for treasure. Maybe most of the items we're gonna get in this game are just uh, through equipment drops and stuff like that. We did get some free items in the very first village of this game, so that made me very hopeful. Okay, what's this? Is this the living quarters? You wanna rest in a place like this? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Maybe later. That's what I thought. Might as well put down another save. We were just one step from peace between Ave and Kislev. Then it is said, Bart's father, Edbart IV, was assassinated by Shakhan. She won't get away with this, Shakhan. It's like it's like that guy from uh, um, what is the name of that movie, Lion King? What's the name of the villain? Some Khan, right? Or maybe I'm thinking of uh, the Jungle Book. Yeah, I'm probably thinking of the Jungle Book. He makes my blood boil. Hey, talk to me. Which bed's better? You gotta rest when you can so you can act when you gotta. Knowing when to do what is important. 
guys are all useless. Let me just put down a save. So we got two inns here, we got two shops, two of everything, except anything useful. This is the way to the planning room. Oh my god, we can just go out! Interesting. Bard's lair. So I guess we get to explore the city or, or something? I mean, if you can even call this a city. Oh god damn it, they're just, they're just letting us walk around free. Let's go back. I don't think we're supposed to be out on the world map. This was the inn, I think. Uh, what is this? Uh, my room. Enter and die, Bart. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> God, he's so childish. Probably no Bart around here right now. Uh-oh. Alarm bells ringing. We got a treasure chest. Oh, we got an iron whip right, right there. Finally, we got some treasure. Maybe I should not have stolen that, but who cares. I'm just happy I got some free stuff. Not sure where to go, to be honest. There's the dining hall. Uh, somebody was talking about a planning room of some sort. Maybe it's uh, upstairs or downstairs, I should say. Or wherever, how, however they planned this out. This was the inn. No, this was the inn, right? That's Bart's room. What about this? This was the inn, sorry. If that was the inn, this is Bart's. No, this is not Bart's room. This is the planning room. Got it. The one door that I missed. This place is incredible. They probably do not even have equipment like this in the capital. <laughs> Surprised? All this technology is thanks to Sig. I don't know who's more important. Is it Bart or is it Sigurd? Hey Faye, don't stand on the screen. We won't be able to see. The screen is down on the floor. Alright man, display my special file on the main screen. It's probably gonna be some uh, porn video. Okay, it's just a regular projector. What is this? Picture scroll, nearly 500 years old. This is King Fatima the, F the First. Body cloaked in flames, making a blood oath with giants. They say he used the strength of the giants to found Ave. It is amazing that such an ancient scroll exists, and in such good state too. I thought the ethos controlled all such things as these. Normally, yes, but, I, but this was one of my father's prized possessions. Next! After founding the country, Fatima forced the giants into slumber. 
to protect his kingdom's people if needed in the future. But we don't know where they are hidden. In another record, one of the giants is called the Great Fatima Treasure. What about the Jasper? Greetings, Blind Archer! What's going on? Hey, you sure know a lot. Perhaps you're one of Shakan's spies. Of course not. It's only an intellectual interest. Just kidding. It appears that Jasper is the key to finding our treasure. A key? Could that be what Shakan is looking for? Not just him. Gabler is also looking for it. Really? Then we must rescue Marguerite as soon as possible. Alright, that's gonna be our next quest probably. You're telling me! Since we helped you, I was wondering if I could, in turn, ask you a favor. Would that be for us to help you rescue her? Right boy, that's exactly it. I heard from Sigurd. It seems that both Avi and Kislev are after you. So we can help you and you can help us. How about it? It's not much to ask. Well, if it pays for my room and board, then I will help in any way I can. What do you think, Faye? You have not said anything for a while. I guess probably sh still. I guess probably still shell shocked because of that special movie for performed. Yeah, you were great back there in that stalactite cavern. Your strength alone is greater than ten or twenty of Shakan's guards. I'd love to have your power on my side. Why does everyone want to make me fight? H huh? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Faye? I just don't feel like it. Love to have my power? I don't have any. What's wrong with you, Doc? Everyone? You're driving me to the brink. Then there's that gear. Graf and my father. I don't have the time to help you out with your problems when I've got enough of my own. What's up in his ass now? Lack of gratitude. What's with him? Is he always that short tempered? No, that is not it. I'm sorry. Things have happened so far that he has not had time to deal with it all yet. Try to understand. <coughs> We're gonna help service gears now. Yeah. Let's go. <gasps> Did it fuck something up? Okay. So what now? Uh, the elevator is gone. They said we were gonna help service gears or something. Shall we shall we check out the control room? Yeah, this is the control room, right? No, this is the dining hall. What am I saying? And the control room was uh, downstairs. Elevators back up? Elevator, yeah, looks like it's back up. Let's go downstairs. Go down to the docks. Yeah, sure. Let's just, let's just check out those gears. Gears. We we did hear some kind of sound, didn't we? Back at the hangar? And that's... Is that, is that Satan? Where is this place? I don't recognize this at all. Oh my god, where is this place? 
Alright, alright. Off your butts and back to work. Good under the gear hangar, okay. Okay, so this was like an uh, intermediate place. Even the gear hangar looks weird now. Maybe we were just at a extremely zoomed out angle first. I'm going to the next hangar. There is another hangar! Hello. What is up? This is your gear, right? This one's worth tinkering with. It makes use of some incredible technology. I'm gonna look over it a bit. So can you come back later? Fuck you. So where am I supposed to go then? And uh, where did the kids go? Boss, let us mess with the gears a little. Craftsmen have to keep practicing their skills, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair point. Okay, I guess uh, nothing for me to do here. Maybe we should just go back up. Oh, this is what he meant by I'm going to the next hangar. And the next hangar will presumably con contain... Uh, uh, what is the name of that gear again? Which mech is this? This gear is called Heimdall. It was excavated together with Brigandier. But we could never get it to run very well. We test pilots were injured in trying. I guess no one can tame it. So gears are supposed to be like horses? Can we get into it? No? I would like to tame it. Okay. Nothing to do here. Yo! Go to the next hangar. Yeah, keep going to the next freaking hangar. I'm gonna check out all the mechs. So this one must be uh, Brigandier. And this one, Repair Dude, right? It's probably the same Repair Guy too. Brigandier is a star of hope for us pirates. The bright red body color represents Bart's ambition. Yeah, I'm sure it represents his ambition. But since Bart always overdoes things, maintenance is a pain. Yeah, I don't really have places to go anywhere now. There's another red mech. Is this the same one? I think it's the same one. Just from behind. And there are the kids. This is the mass-produced model based on Bart's Brigandier. That simplified to reduce cause. Okay, so yeah, this is a different mech. Hello, Poonch. Actually, not punch right now. Yo, Hunger 15, what's going on? Long time no see, man. Uh, if you tune them up, they're pretty good. That's when we can really show our skills. Okay. Yo, kids. When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. How do I get access to these mechs? Wow, cleaning is fun. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Tom Sawyer. Okay, let's check out uh, more hangars I suppose. No, that's the end. This was a giant waste of time. And how do I go back? I have to go all the way back. Take the lift. Freaking hell. I thought I was just supposed to follow the kids or something. But hey, we got to see more of these mechs.
Uh, this is the elevator, isn't it? Hello? Oh. Uh, go up to the dock? Yeah, sure. Oh, there are two different elevators. Or, or am I just looking at uh, things through different angles? Yeah, I think it was just a different angle. So I don't see that there's anything to for me to do out here. Hello? Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, we already uh, spoken to this guy. Yeah, nothing for me to do here. Or is there? Can I can I enter that thing? Uh maybe not. No, I don't think so. I don't think I can enter that thing. This was where we entered from. Residential area go up, yeah. Let's just uh let's just uh, fuck around in the residential area. Maybe you're supposed to talk to the one-eyed dude. Prince Sigurd Fatima. No wait, Sigurd is not his real name, is it? This is the inn. This is the planning room. Do I need to just go back here? Okay, looks like I just needed to go back here. There is Satan and there is uh, Sigurd. Uh, what do you want to know? Who is Margie? Margie is Mother Marguerite of uh, Nissan. But Shakan of Ave has locked her up and is looking for the Fatima Jasper now. Bart may not look it, but he's very worried. Who is Shah Khan? Shah Khan was a Prime Minister of Ave, But he is a de facto leader now. His rule is what has put our Ave in turmoil. Why is it always the ministers who turned out to be evil? What's a Fatima's Jasper? We already know about that. More about Nissan. Nissan is a small sacred country in the west of Ignis. In its center is a huge cathedral beautifully all ornamented. The country was founded by Sophia. She is called the mother of knowledge by her followers, the Kahal. She was also Nissan's first mother. Okay, you're not super helpful. Hey, what's up Satan? Hey, there is no reason to be mad at Bart. Just forgive him. All right, I'll go in search of him. If I have to. Maybe he's in his room. This is Bart's room, right? <laughs> yeah, he's probably in his room. Punch tomorrow? Yep, most probably. He's not in his room. God damn it, Bart. Oh, now he enters his room and Faye is trying to hide. But he's gonna he's gonna notice the fact that his uh, iron G whip is missing because I stole it. Boy, what's up with this Fey guy? I try and become his friend, and he suddenly explodes in anger. Well, looks like he's got a lot on his mind. I don't want to force him. Yeah, we just come into our room and talk to the air. Totally normal. But he would be fun to fight. Maybe I'll ask again. If I lie in wait under the elevator... Huh? What a moron. I lie in wait under the elevator. All right.
I don't see Bart. What exactly did he mean by under the elevator? Let's just go down one more floor. Oh no, I don't want to go up! Oh my god, this animation takes so long. Skip, 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 skip. Can we not skip this? Go down. We're just wasting fuel for them by just going up and down the elevator. <coughs> Let's go one more floor down. No, we can't. Do we have to take a different elevator? Ah, oh, this is the elevator. Elevator, he meant. Got it. Got it. Now this passage is open. Can I have a second? Sure. Satan told me all about your story. Do you want to talk about it? Why don't you tell me? It sounds pretty rough. Now he's suddenly all mature. Listen, I'm sorry for being a jerk just now. Forgive me, will ya? Look at me! <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna kill this guy. Whoa. Anyway, sorry to bring it up again, but. No! What? I don't like fighting like you do. I only got into that gear because I had to. I'd rather not ride them. If you want that gear so much, then you can have it. I don't want it. You think I like fighting? Is that it? Don't you? Sure looks that way. It looks like the only thing you do enjoy is fighting. I can't let that slide. Who likes fighting? Take it back! Like it or not, I fight because I have to. I got my reasons, but you wouldn't understand. Well, I don't have a reason to fight. I don't want to fight. I just want to live in peace and quiet. But you people keep on hounding me to get into a gear. Why don't you just leave me alone? It's because I see your skill and think... Well, I hate it! Whenever I get in a gear, people get hurt. If I fight, people die. I don't want to hurt people. I don't want anyone to die. I hate it. Can't you see that? Yeah, I know the feeling of just wanting to run away from reality. But do you think the kids left behind in your village would understand? Satan told me what happened in Lahan. Would it have been better if you had done nothing? Sure, that happened because you were in the gear. But even if you hadn't, people would have died. Right? You weren't the reason. War. No. The people who started the war are the reason. And unless you get rid of the reason, nothing will change. I fight to get rid of the reason. And the reason is you. Right now there is no other way, so I have to fight. But that doesn't mean I enjoy it. I understand why you would feel guilt towards the kids in your village. And I know why you don't want to harm others. Watch to punch for replace so far. Then forward to watching punch series ongoing, but my schedule is all over the place right now. No problem, dude. Watch whenever you want to. Uh Yeah, let me know if you got any suggestions. Surprisingly, I, it's, it's actually going surprisingly well so far. And I know why you don't want to harm others. But if you want to make it up to those children, don't you have to fight? You do have a reason to fight. 
a reason you must fight. But as long as you ignore it and continue to run away, those kids will never forgive you. Just remember that. And another thing. I'm not saying that's not helping me is running away. That not helping me is running away. You don't have to help. This is my own problem. I don't want to get you in this against your will. Do you want to think about having at least two repair backpacks? Yep, I'll think about that. But right now I'm uh, getting away with having just one. So let's see. Let's see when we hit uh, an actual difficult mission. Like I said, so far has been going surprisingly well. And uh, and I think I think in a couple missions I'll even have access to the computer shops. Holy crap! I'm gonna give everyone uh, melee levels and melee skills, and uh, and these people are gonna become even bigger beasts so let's see let's see looking forward to that man and though and the best thing about melee only is that i never have to worry about ap it's just that setting up uh, links is much more difficult because you need a lot of space you don't have to help this is my own problem i don't want i don't want to get you in this against your will but if i had your skill I could bring all of this to an end and make it up to those kids. At least that's what I think. Anyway, sorry to hold you up. The mechanic wanted to talk to you about your gear. I probably don't care now, but at least hear what he has to say. I swear to God if he's gonna offer me a free upgrade. I just spent all of that cash. Maybe I should have waited, but I didn't want to. Who knew? Who knew when I would be put into a, a, a fight? Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to that mechanic who was saying, uh, "Come see me later." I mean, I don't want to talk to you right now or something. Where is Veltol? He it, that would be in the hangar. Uh, this is not the hangar, right? This is yeah. This is not the hangar. We need to go to the hangar. Why did the music change? How do I go to the hangar? Hello? You EMP backpack so you could stun enemies who come around or just hide my No, I, I'm I, I'm not gonna use EMP backpacks. Uh, definitely not gonna use EMP backpacks un unless uh, I have a very high chance of inflicting uh, uh, a, a decent status effect. As it is, as it is, I'm hardly getting any damage done because I'm not attacking uh, more than once per turn. So I'd like to just maximize the damage. Repair backpacks make sense because uh, very soon they'll become necessary. EMP backpacks probably not. And later on radio backpacks. Might consider radio backpacks just for salvage ability but otherwise no I'm going to avoid any kinds of backpacks. I just want to go for maximum DPS. There's probably just one mission in the entire game in which EMP backpacks make sense. And that is Simulator D13. I was discussing this with that guy. Uh, I don't know if you caught the ward. I was discussing Simulator D13 with... Uh, I forgot that guy's name. But uh, yeah, he gave, he gave me some pretty cool insights. In Simulator 13, most of the enemies are 100% susceptible to systems damage. Alright, this is well tall. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Looks like someone really knew how to tune to tune up your gear. Yeah, it was me. Attack, defense, ether amplification, an exceptionally balanced machine. But we don't seem to be able to dismantle some parts to see what they do. I guess you could call them black boxes. There are quite a number of them on this machine. Do you have any idea what they actually do? Uh, no. It's a good thing that Veltol looks good too. Faye! Sigurd, Doc, what's up? We would like to have a word with you. Oh, okay.
At least they don't they, they don't just tell me where 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 I can find them and then run away. Thankfully I've been able to navigate here just fine. But as we've seen in the dungeons, I'm horrible at navigation, especially with dynamic camera angles. Look over there. They've already started reusing themes. Hey Dad, can you hear me? Ever since I first looked in Faye's eyes, I knew. He was the one for me! Oh no. There's going to be some guy on guy action in this game. He's the same as me. He, he, he'd understand me. Or so I thought. Did I just imagine it? I have no confidence. If I follow after you, Dad, it'll just be like I'm some decoration. At the moment, I can't even carry out your will, let alone rescue Margie. I told him I was only running away, but I'm really the one who wants to run away. The young master asked me to apologize to you. Pretty strange, huh? He knows it's best to apologize in person. But the young master isn't all that good at this sort of thing. He may not look it, but he's really quite lonely. He's always searching for a friend. We, his minders, can't become his friends. Even if he wanted to, he just won't see us that way. He knows that. Why, you ask? It's because of the burden that he bears. It must be difficult for one so young to carry so heavy a responsibility. But he does try to do his best, you know. Again, you guys are just pampering him. This is why we stick by him. It has nothing to do with him being the prince. Faye, I sense you two are carrying a heavy burden. Yeah, he's the prince of Kislev, I, I bet. And, and, when, and when that revelation does come, I'm going to be so shocked. This might be a selfish request, but... Would it be possible for you, for you to help the young master? I'm not asking you to burden yourself with his problems or responsibilities. But could you too, with whatever it is you do, uh, each no, help the other, please? Oh, alright, alright. I'll go to his room tonight. I'm sorry. I need time to think. Of course, take your time. It is completely up to you. Whatever you decide, we will be leaving early tomorrow morning. After you finish preparing for tomorrow, you probably should get some rest. You can use the bedroom in the residential area above. I wish it, I wish to speak to Sigurd some more. So you go ahead and get some rest. Hmm. All right, so it looks like our stay here is coming to an end. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna rest up. I'll probably do. Uh, I'm gonna save and resting up is probably gonna uh, trigger some cutscene of some sort. So I think we'll just make uh, make today a short stream because I did start late and uh, call it a day there. Today has just been a giant cutscene. Uh oh, change in music. Is it just because of the residential area? Or something's gonna happen? No, I think it's just because of the residential area. Let's rest up. We'll leave first thing tomorrow. Are you ready? Alright. Did you forget anything? What could I have possibly forgotten? I stole that stuff from his room. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, sleep well. Uh, 
so very tired. What's that sound? Also, we haven't had uh, anime cutscenes for quite a while now. Someone is repairing some mech, or what the hell is this? Don't tell me it's a machine gun. It sounds worse than Front Mission 4. Who's this now? Broyer. Confirmed. It's their base, all right. Helm holds. That rock was easy to break through. I thought it would be a little harder. <laughs> she said. Stratsky. These surface dwelling lambs sure live in a nice place. Rank. Are these the famous four? No, Fantastic Four. Hey, look at that. They built this place far better than the facilities at Bledovic. It's probably a hidden fort built within their old, when their old king was still around. Oh shit. Looks like these guys are the enemies. And they have penetrated into our dry dock. That's what it looks like. Vance. So it's a famous five. Who cares? Let's just get this over and done with. You know, these five clowns remind me of Centipede from Front Mission 3. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm making uh, all of these Front Mission references now. So, where are the gears? They're in gears? Over here? To the right, there's a hangar. <gasps> Found them. These are Dura mods, the standard pirate gears. <coughs> ha! Ignore those. We can take them out fast. Why not take a few? Even if we only get those, it was worth sneaking in. Alright. Sparile is now in place at the back. So there are six of them? Get ready to take out anything that gets in our way. Prep complete. Okay, over here. Anytime is fine. Go! Is it gonna start firing? But they haven't factored that we've got Veltal and uh, Heimdall and Brigadier. Or, uh, I keep forgetting his name. Brigandine. What was that crash? Gears have entered the Yggdrasil's dock. Five Gabler Special Force gears and one single and unidentified large gear. All pilots report to the gear hangar. Alright. I think this is a great place to stop and we'll uh, face off against the Kebler troops next time. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else streaming Xenocures. Yep. So, until next time then, take care.